A bold hippopotamus was standing one day on the banks of the cool Shalimar. He gazed at the bottom as he peacefully lay by the light of the evening star. Away on a hilltop sat combing her hair his fair hippopotamine maid. The hippopotamus was no ignoramus and sang her this sweet serenade. Mud, mud, glorious mud, nothing quite like it for cooling the blood. So follow me, follow, down to the hollow, and there we may wallow. The fair hippopotama he aimed to entice from her seat on the hilltop above. As she hadn't got a ma to give her advice, came tiptoeing down to her love. Like thunder the forest re-echoed the sound of the song that they sang as they met. His inner morata adjusted her garter and lifted her voice in duet. Mud, mud, glorious mud, nothing quite like it for cooling the blood. So follow me, follow, down to the hollow, and there let us wallow in glorious mud. Now more hippopotami began to convene on the banks of that river so wide. I wonder now what am I to say of the scene that ensued by the Shalimar side. They dived all at once with an ear-splitting splash, then rose to the surface again, a regular army of hippopotami all singing this haunting refrain. Mud, mud, mud glorious mud, nothing quite like it for cooling the blood. So follow me, follow, down to the hollow, and there let us wallow in glorious mud. And then there's a fourth verse, which they wrote a bit later on. <coughs> the amorous hippopotamus, whose love song we know, is now married and a father of ten. <laughs> he murmurs, God rot him, as he watches them grow, and he longs to be single again. He'll gamble no more on the banks of the Nile, which NASA is flooding next spring. That's the sort of we'll have to be going to there. <laughs> which hippopotamus in silken pyjamas. No more will he teach them this song. Mud, mud, glorious mud. Nothing quite like it for cooling the blood. So follow me, follow. Down to the hollow, and there we may wallow in glorious, glorious mud. <laughs>